So after a nice rest day, we have a bit of a long day ahead of us. 18 kilometers. We're going to Evelyn Lake. Um, there are three sites on Evelyn, I believe. Um, on Ottertooth map, one of them is marked as a one to two uh, tent pads kind of thing, and then the other two are considered a little bit bigger. So we'll see, and hopefully they're available. The wind is not as uh, strong as we thought it would be. And uh, yeah, it's a nice temperature. It was nice being at a site where like-minded paddlers visit. You can see it on the birch trees. The, the paper on the outside is not totally ripped off and there is a bare tree exposed. They're all pristine quality, which means that the people who visit, are they respect why they're there and, and they respect the land and everything. stopped on land because we saw a bald eagle and a vulture both leave from the same place so there might be a carcass around the vulture was very territorial when it saw us so just taking a gander to see if there is anything maybe they're just having a good time two buddies in the woods didn't find anything can't smell anything either, but still there. There must be something over there. There's one campsite. Right next to it's another one. They truly are right next to each other. Right next to it's another one. Campsite number three.
friends of Tomogamy uh, do a pretty cool thing. Some sites uh, you can get this and you can pause it to read it if you want. They uh, put a shovel out. So if your Thunderbox gets full, you can just dig a whole new, dig a new, whole new hole. That's hard to say. A whole new hole. <laughs> We are on the longest portage or trip. Not very long, over 800 meters. Should only be a quick one, but it's tomogamy. So on Jeff's map, this portage says that it's very muddy, at least for a section in the middle. And there was a lovely young couple that we met on the portage out of Madagamasi that also warned us about this portage being muddy. Apparently if you step in the wrong spot, you run up to your waist in mud. Not fun. So, try and be careful where we step. And we have taken all the necessary bug precautions because muddy and swampy, which means mosquitoes. Yay. We're supposed to go that way, but it just looks even muddier and less sticks. there? No. I was going to oh, say, straighter than back there. if you want to undo the rope, walk ahead, 
And then when you get to a stable place, pull. Okay. That way you're, uh, you can easily find your footing. Since so this would take 20 minutes. Ah. <laughs> Come here, little blue canoe. Poor brand new canoe. Favorite place in the world? <laughs> Almost there. You can see the light. You can see the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's over with. Imagine if we had gone that way. It's gotta be pretty bad if they. Oh they've... my goodness. <laughs> that's the way it's supposed to be. This is the alternate route. It looks like water. Well, now we're back on the uh, actual portage. Okay. Yay. I ask myself, why do we do these things? Oh, that was good. Ooh. Bloody? What? Bloody? No, but it like it popped like. Oh oh. Like, oh. Bug guts. Oh, that was a weird sound. <laughs> <sighs> Boat. And it looks like the road doesn't exist anymore. It's no tiny little portage.
look like velvet. That's cool. They're everywhere. Pitcher plant flower. You see the uh, the leaves down here. This one's actually got liquid in it. So many little toads. So many little toads. We be blowing a gale out there. Turns out there's a new portage that's been marked and taped. Uh, goes around the uh, lift over and you don't go to the creek and then you end up in a small beaver pond. So it's uh, very nice to have. It's windy. The first site is south facing, the other two are north facing. Wow. The first site is like right out of the marsh. I'm guessing there's nobody at any of them. Well, no. So. One's an island. No, two are in. Depending on the wind. I might be able to go see all three. Isn't that the island right there? I don't know. There's a bunch of them. Hopefully. That's so, pretty close. <laughs> yeah, but do you want to be camped right behind us, right by a bog? No. I mean, I guess no matter where we are, we're going to be right by a bog. Yeah. Pie is a place to do it. Big, fat, a lot of them. The, where your tent goes is pretty good. It's like a nice little bit of a grade, so it rains a lot. It's good. Uh, fire pit's really good. There's just no uh, thunderbox. It's very windy. It keeps the bugs off. But uh, yeah, it's a good candidate. Maybe go check out the other side? Sure. It's not too far away. No. But this is a, like, if the other side is 
is not good. This is definitely good. Okay. Pretty good. Probably the primo site. One, two good tenting spots. You can find more. And this, this is nice. It's a uh, secondary fire pit that's out of the wind right now. Even though the wind's coming this way, there's still no wind in here. Kind of neat. So I think we're going to stay here. Get set up. We are coming to you live from the shoe changing station. I think uh, everyone can attest to this. Walking through a swampy swamp swamp is uh, due for a taking your socks off and getting the grossness out of your shoes and all the grit and mud and probably insects. Who knows what's in there? Ah. <laughs> Gross. These socks were brand new at the beginning of the trip, I swear. Look at that. Mmm. Bet you they smell good too. Ah. It's almost like putting on a clean pair of socks, but not really. Let's go wash these out. Really gross. Been there almost 10 years. remember this time so that you know we can actually eat this because I'm hungry and I love lasagna so I'd probably cry if we had to throw this out. things you do for a weather forecast. So, 
Good news. Low of nine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Three extra degrees. <laughs> it said low of five for Lisker. New Lisker. New Lisker, yeah. So it's going to be chilly up there, but. So well, it's still going to be chilly here, but. Yeah, so nine tonight, nine tomorrow night. High of 18 tomorrow or 19. Um, the wind's going to stay the same and it's going to be clear. So it's almost like a fall trip right now. <laughs> it's not that cold. No, but it's like creeping on end of September. So. <clears throat> Good stuff. We're not going to freeze to death. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Rolo. <laughs> this tastes like chocolate. I think well, I mean, there's a little bit of caramel in there too. But... It's good. Mm. Nothing like Michaela's though. She's somebody I work with. <laughs> She makes the best hot chocolate ever. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Tastes like real lasagna, but dehydrated. If you want to learn how to make it, check out the description down below. All packed in for the cold night. <laughs> we uh, we took a bunch of stuff, like the PFDs, the packs, the bug uh, shelter, the bug shelter, and stuff from underneath the uh, the headwind side of the tent. So when the wind comes, it doesn't go up and through the tent. Uh, I also took the chairs and and blocked off one of the sides of the tent um, so to prevent less air from coming through but I left the vent open that's up top and that's open on both sides that's to prevent condensation and bad things happening um, because moisture moisture kills when you're cold so we uh, we left them open but we're in here right now. We're all bundled up, everything like that. But even before that, it feels warm. Uh, we don't feel any any breeze, nothing coming through, nothing like that. So I think we're excited to go to sleep and not be shivering and <laughs> huddling together, <laughs> thinking we're going to die of hypothermia or something. That wouldn't actually happen, but <laughs> yeah. 
Looking forward to tomorrow. Yes. Because then we get to go to uh, a lake that we're going to stay two nights at. Which should be good. Get to uh, explore it. And apparently it's a very pretty lake. Stay. Oh, although it's very nice here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I stay yeah. Night. Very few bugs here. Very few. So stay tuned. It's going to be fun. More adventure to come. Last night was chilly, uh, but I think we both survived. You were a bit cold. Oh. I'm always a bit cold. Yay. These next couple of portages go around a system of dams and chutes back, way back in the logging days. And yeah, so we're just gonna stop and look at each one and see uh, see what there is. Apparently on some of them is they're pretty intact, like the chutes and stuff, so it'd be cool to see. This one looks really old, a really old uh, classic style dam. They were just rocks, nothing else.
out of all the beaver lodges and dams that we've crossed and come by. This is the first one that actually looks like it's in use. Just off of the just over 500 meter where there's a log flume and there is one. This way's back home, and we're going this way. Headwind paddle. Happy to see land. That was a windy paddle. This is more what tomogamy should be like. Well, the portage is over there, but up here is a uh, Algonquin style portage sign. Interesting. We're not rock climbers, but I mean, like, if we have to. <laughs> Last of eight portages. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Find something. It's John from Los Lakes.
this chicken. Another one. Round two. Oh, this is gonna warm us up before tonight's cold, cold weather. Good old shepherd's pie. 